debate where he was asked, will you clearly say that you want Ukraine to win? You never say that. You never say that. You always take the side of, of saying, you know what, here's the outcome that I want. You don't pick a winner, especially in a Slavic conflict that's a thousand years old. And the conflict is from breakout provinces inside of Ukraine called Luhansk and Donetsk who are asking Russia to come in. They're British, uh, British speaking. They are Russian speaking provinces that are always molested by the Ossoff Battalion. So they wanted, just like Crimea, that Crimea was annexed into Russia. It wasn't even taken by military violent force. It was just taken over. Like a city annexes county land. That's what they did. Because Crimea is like, we want to be Russia. And if you look on the map, you look at Luhansk and you look at Donetsk, they want to be Russia. They're asking for it. Because they're Russian speaking. They're Russians. So we don't, we don't have any part in any of this. So the problem with British Storm Shadow missiles is the Ukrainians can't shoot them in deep into Russia. So who's going to shoot them in there? Well, somebody's going to go and teach them. That's, that'll take a decade. So who's going to shoot them in? Can anybody, Aaron, you got any ideas? Who's going to shoot those in? Um, that would be NATO. <laughs> yeah. Would be shooting them in. If you go do that, it's World War III. Because what is Russia going to do then? You have NATO with their troops on the ground. Well, they'll be disguised. There's you know, disguised to Ukraine. That's not going to do any good because Vladimir Putin already knows that nobody in Ukraine has the ability to fire British storm shadow missiles except for Western powers like the United States. So if they listen, Spain can't shoot Brit British storm shadow missiles. Venezuela can't. Colombia can't. Portugal can't. I'd venture to say France can't. You'd have to have Israel do it, UK do it, or the United States do it. Canada can't even do it. So what if one of those missiles lands in the continental Russian the continental Russian country inside of continental Russia? You're looking at World War III, and you have these stupid here. Just put that side by side for just a second, guys. Or you can even put on the look at look at this band of idiots right here. Look at these stupid morons. That's Keir Starmer with the glasses, you can see, sitting right across from John Kirby, sitting right next to Jake Sullivan, right down from Admiral John Kirby. These are the stupidest people on the planet. $36 trillion worth of debt, an open southern border, fighting against uh, foreign interference in our election as they bring foreigners to vote in our elections across the southern border. I mean, what a band of morons. You, know, you got that great documentary, you know, as much as I hate to say it, Tom Hanks, Steven Spielberg, Band of Brothers. Here's the band of morons. <laughs> band of idiots right here. Play for me, Ness. Prime Minister, have you asked for permission to fire storm shadow missiles on Russia? No, there's Anthony Blinken. Didn't see him there earlier. There's another idiot for you. These are these are people who aren't. Yeah, you can leave that right there. These are people who are not smart, and all of the Christians follow their orders. Wear a mask. Lock down your church. Buy an electric vehicle. Lower your CO2 emissions. You're going to be a compassionate person. Stay at home where you're going to catch COVID and then spread it to somebody else. Stay at home. When, you know what? Wear an N95 and then wear a surgical mask on top of your N95. Masks don't work. Now they work. There will be no vaccine in, in, for another 10 years. Oh, you know what? We do have the vaccines and they do meet their developmental requirements. Take them, Christians, and all the Christians do. 100, 180 million Americans took the stupid vaccines twice. Unbelievable, touted from the pulpits, from these idiots. Every single one of these idiots in the picture like to drag babies out of their mother's womb, peace by bloody peace, and sell their eyeballs on the open market, as testified to by Planned Parenthood employees under freaking oath. That's who these people are. And they're trying to drag us into a global war. Nuclear or not, they're trying to drag us into a global war. By having a conversation about British storm shadow missiles, being shot into Russia? Have you lost your ever-loving mind? That's where I miss cussing right now. That's why I miss it. Do you, do you, I mean, have you lost your mind? 
The only they, the, Vladimir Putin already knows the only people that can shoot them in are Western powers. It would take it would take Ukraine a decade to learn how to fire those missiles. It would take them a decade to learn how to drive our tanks or to fly our jets. Unbelievable. These people are truly, truly out of their element. Did they not realize, as with the dollar, if the dollar is valueless to me, it's valueless to you, that, you know what, you can get in your bunker all you want, Mark Zuckerberg. What are you going to come out to, you stupid idiot? I'm in my bunker. I'm safe. Okay. You know, what happens when you run out of fuel to for your generators and you have to come out in, into a nuclear winter? And by the way, you can have all the air filtration you want going into your bunker. When the outside is in the middle of a nuclear winter, guess what's coming in your bunker, you stupid moron? These people are unbelievable. They really are. And how can you be a Democrat and believe in these idiots? Unbelievable. And how can you be a Christian and ever follow any of their dictates or orders? I will never understand that. And don't hand me Romans 13. That is not what it's all about. They come to you with a with a health health emergency. You 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 start quoting scripture like Matthew 16, 19. Whatever I bind is bound, whatever I loose is loose. You quote Matthew 8, 17. He took up our infirmities and carried all of our diseases. You quote Psalm 103:3, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases. That's what you do. You don't follow the dictates of the Antichrist spirit. I hope people are watching that are greatly offended by what I just said on Christian Television Network right now. I hope that you are. If you're a COVID-caving pastor, because you have ushered in the next fraudulent election. If this 2024 election is fraudulent, it's because the infrastructure was put in place by you caving to COVID in that ridiculous 2020 election. We can't go vote in person, so we all got to vote by mail. You know what? Uh, Together alone and alone together. Trust the experts. These people, unbelievable.